Hi, I'm Emmy Collins, District Chef at Seattle Public School, and I'm here with Angel Doss, Seattle Skill Center culinary student at Rainier Beach, and she's going to be teaching us how to make her family's recipe for Haitian chicken stew, which I'm then going to take and we're going to be serving it up to the students at all the Seattle schools. So this dish is very important to me because it was the first dish I've ever learned how to cook. I was making it at the age of four. So my dad made it with me, my dad and my grandpa, I should say. And we had this dinner when my dad passed away. So that also holds a special place in my heart. It's my mom's favorite dish, so I have to make it. It's my favorite dish too, because it has a whole bunch of flavors and it's very universal, I should say. Of course, we got the lentils. That's what, that's what we it, need And does it have get. to be green lentils? No, it can be any, any type, type of lentils. lentils. Okay. And then we got some chicken, because chicken is good. Can you um, put other, other types of meat? Just ground, of course, ground chicken, other, turkey, maybe ground turkey? Yeah, you can put any kind of meat in there. We got some... Spices? Spices. What are, okay, so we got, is this paprika? Yep. Some salt? Yep. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. And some pepper. And pepper. And some onions. We also have this. This is oil. This will help the onions get translucent so we can, so the flavors go all out. And we can put the chicken in and then start seasoning the chicken. This is one cup of onions, chopped obviously. And we're just waiting for these to get translucent. You want to put it in slowly because you don't want any of the onions to come up and get your hand. Do I, can I break it? Like, do I break it up? Yep, you can break it up. Garlic powder? Yep. Some salt. Salt to taste, I would say. Some pepper. How much pepper? About a um, it, depends. it depends on your taste. My mom okay. likes a lot of pepper. Okay. So I would say a teaspoon. A teaspoon. And then... This paprika. is spicy. So, so this good. is where most of the flavor comes from. Yep, the paprika. And the reason why I'm only using a little bit is because when we put the lentils in there, we're going to have to season the lentils. Okay. So, so okay. we're going to let that cook for a little yeah. bit. Smells really good. <laughs> it does. You added the lentils and now you want to season it a little bit more? Yep. Yeah, because so a little bit more salt to taste. Lentils kind of don't have a flavor unless you season them. Right. That's to what To bring my, out their... Yeah, to bring out their... The flavor, so... About a teaspoon more of garlic powder? Yep. And a pinch of pepper. And... More paprika. Pinch of paprika. Because more than a pinch is going to be very spicy. And just put this Cover over it. it. And that should do the trick. And then it'll do its magic. So it's spicy paprika that you use. Mm. That's really good. Thank you. You are a CTE student at Rainier Beach um, in the Seattle Skill Center Culinary Program. Tell me a little bit about that. I love it. Yeah. It's so fun. I've met some of my best friends here. Okay. Um, and Chef, I love Chef. Yeah? I, mean, I just love it to death. Well, thanks for sharing your recipe with me. Um, I'm going to take it back and kind of test it out because we're going to be serving thousands and thousands of kids this recipe. We want to make sure it comes out. We want to make sure it comes out as perfect as you taught me. I'm really excited about it. Yeah.